We present Embedding Neighborhoods Simultaneously by T-Distributed Stochastic Neighbor Embedding, or NSTSNE. The T-SNE dimension reduction technique takes a single similarity matrix and reduces it to usually two dimensions, attempting to preserve clusters. If there are multiple relationships in a dataset, we must either combine them into one T-SNE plot as shown, which can obscure information, or show them as several unrelated small multiples. The shown example is the Palmer's Penguin dataset, which is a dataset of around 350 penguins and includes several physical characteristics along with each penguin's gender. The color of a point corresponds to the species of penguin, while the shape here corresponds to gender. We see that T. Snee has accurately captured each species gender pair, but if we did not know the ground truth classification, we would be left to assume that each of the clusters are unrelated. We can get more information by using NSTSNE. We see the same six clusters in our NSTSNE three-dimensional plot, but they have been positioned carefully in, in the space so that in two separate projections a different clustering is shown. Each of the two dotted vectors corresponds to a projection viewpoint, one of which separates the clusters by color, and another which separates by shape. We can see how each point moves between clusters in three dimensions, something that is not possible in traditional small multiples plots. To show each viewpoint statically, we can apply the projections to produce two-dimensional small multiple plots. In the first view, we have used the physical attributes to capture penguin species, and in the second view, we have used the penguin's gender attribute to capture penguin's gender. Note how in the first view, there are three clusters corresponding to each color, although shapes may be mixed, and in the second, clusters are based on shape, while colors may be mixed. Our algorithm proceeds as a generalization of regular t -SNE. Given a list of similarity matrices, we find a 3D embedding paired with a set of projections that each capture a similarity matrix in the image. We optimize both the 3D embedding and projections simultaneously, so that each can influence the other. We use gradient-based optimization techniques to minimize our objective function. Let's take a quick look at a more complicated exam example. Shown here is a T-SNE plot of the USDA food composition dataset, which contains food items defined by their nutrient components. We found three high-dimensional clusters, which T-SNE is able to capture. We then use a subspace clustering algorithm to find interesting subspaces which contain different clusterings. Using NSTSNE on the two subspaces, the first which consisted of waters and lipids, and the second which consisted of proteins and B vitamins, we see that in the first uh, image, the three clusters are well maintained though they are mixed and not well separated, indicating that this subspace is important for defining the high dimensional clusters. In the second view, the red cluster has stayed distinct, but the blue and orange clusters have mixed, creating two new clusters, one that consists of dairy products like milks and yogurts, and another that consists of other meatless foods such as fruits, vegetables, and grains. We see in three dimensions that the algorithm has positioned each of these clusters in such a way that they are visible from their corresponding projections. By smoothly transitioning, we can also track points or groups of points as they change clusterings between subspaces.